Hey guys, I'm Deshaun Hollywood and I'm back with another dope video. And today's video is really lit because I am meeting up with my friend Chase. And guys, we are going to do something that is absolutely mind-blowing. Like, I don't think you guys are ready because I'm kind of not even ready. But we're going to get ready. I'm pretty sure this is Chase. I think this is Chase. Um, or I'm about to look crazy on somebody's car. Is that him? Is this Chase? Oh my God. And it is. Okay, yes, honey, you gotta come and see it. Alrighty, guys, so here is Chase. Um, tell them a little bit about what we're doing because we're on another level today. Okay, so people don't know, but I've been getting the Botox lately. <laughs> I want to stay youthful as long as I can. Okay. So today, we are here at the doctor's house because I'm really cool. With her. Look at him. Okay, and she's going to give me some talks because. And this, the, is the the, this is the touch up, right? This is touch up, yes. Okay. Yes. So, First of as all, you can see, skin is on smooth already. So, period. oh okay. my gosh. So, we just get in a retouch, you know, get those stubborn wrinkles out. Okay. And, yes. I'm here for moral support, and also I'm going to film the entire thing so you guys are going to see it. If you're sensitive to needles or anything like that, you might not want to watch this. But please stay tuned. We will be right back as soon as we get inside. Are you nervous? Um. Uh, since Not you, because really. you've already done it before. Yeah. Yeah. yeah definitely. Yeah. <laughs> well, <not> definitely. <laughs> like, I'm, like you're like a pro. Yes, yeah, so I'm just like. Oh but gosh. the first one, you should have. Oh my god. <laughs> the first time. This is was, the second time I've watched someone get this done. Really? Yeah. The first time it was like I was like a little bitch, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I want some. She's like, shh, calm down. It's not that serious. Hey guys, okay, so this is Swapna. She is the doctor that will be working on Chase today. I'm gonna have her tell you guys a little bit about what's going on and what we're gonna be doing. So, take over. All right, I'm Dr. Shastri, and I'm gonna be working on Chase's face today. Um, we are gonna do a Botox procedure, which is just a few injections of a neurotoxin, toxin, which will um, basically freeze the wrinkles in his forehead and the angry lines. Um, <laughs> and we will be putting about 26 to 28 units in his face to just kind of stop all this movement and Chase, go ahead and lift your eyebrows up. So these are the wrinkles that we want to prevent. Um, he doesn't really have any resting wrinkles, which is great, but Botox is a great preventative method. Um, to get the injections to prevent wrinkles from even forming in the first place. Um, and then go ahead and make the angry face for me. Yep, and then these are the angry lines we're talking about. We kind of want to get rid of those too. And so what would you say is like the best age for someone to start doing something like this? It's a great question. Um, it depends on person and if you're ready for it or not, but honestly, I would start doing it in your 30s. Some people like to do it earlier for preventative. Yes. Um, <laughs> but it's good to do it um, to even prevent the wrinkles from forming. So, I mean, I've done 25 year olds and up. Alrighty, so I'm sure that you have like a website and things that I can put in the description box for everyone if they want to come and book this service for you. Totally, totally. Um, I have my own company, Soma Wellness. And if you contact me, we can set up a time. I do concierge Botox and filler, so I can come to you or you can come to me. Make it very simple and easy. Convenient, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna let them get to work so you guys can see this full on experience of Chase getting his <laughs> Botox. <laughs> Hey guys, so you should actually just hit Swapna up on Instagram because it's the fastest way to reach her.
procedure of this whole forehead. Um, it takes about two weeks for Botox to totally set in. So we give it two weeks time. Over the next two weeks you'll feel, um, you know, slowly movements start stopping, <laughs> which is what we want. Um, and then in two weeks time um, we'll reevaluate Chase and mm -hmm. we'll see if there's any leftover movement or anything else that he wanted to have fixed. Um, fixing is always free. So that's good because it usually just takes a few more units of Botox to fix it. Yeah. Um, good to know. And how was yeah, it? It's, it's All right, actually... on a pain level, Chase, mm -hmm. scale of 1 to 10, what would you say? Because you know people are going to be scared and they're going to think it's so painful and scary. Honestly, is a 1. <laughs> you look like that <laughs> you were so unbothered. Dude, it's just like little pinches, like it's... It's definitely not painful at all. Very easy. And like if you just relax and close your eyes, it's done for you. Like, I feel like it's more of like a mental thing, would you say? Like people psych their self out beforehand. I'm just scared of needles in general, but we have a teeny tiny needle, the teeny tiny injections. See, we're not going very deep at all. Absolutely. Just little wheels. So we treated his forehead. If we wanted to, we could treat the smile lines. If he had any, I don't know, smile for us, Chase. Well, he doesn't really have any, but as we get older, they're called crow's feet. And yeah. We treat the sides. And then there's bunny lines, which, here, do this, crunch your face up. Yep, these lines here. Oh. Uh-huh. And then the other thing that we can do is a little lip flip. Um, if we put, like, two units here and two units there, it kind of pulls your upper lip up a little bit. Um, oh, and that's, like, that. an easy way to kind of thicken the upper lip and without using filler, which is obviously a lot more expensive. Um, and then the last place is, I don't know if you do this, do you frown? No, I <laughs> guess he doesn't frown too much, which is great. Yes. <laughs> I frown all the time, so I'll show you on my face. The pebbling chin. Um, that oh, I didn't know what's called that. I know, I feel, that's, that's more for me than the angries. Um, yeah, so you could treat the chin as well. So those are a few things you could do with just Botox. I mean, it just doesn't feel freeze wrinkles. It can give you a nice little plump lip and yes. freeze you in time. <laughs> exactly. I love it. Okay, that was great. Thank you so much for even letting us film the experience. Like, we appreciate it. No, you're welcome. Totally. I'm definitely going to link all of your information. And who knows, guys? Maybe one day I'll come and get it done myself. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe we'll we'll do it. So stay tuned. <laughs> so we just wanted to mention um, Chase does have some bumps on his forehead after mm -hmm. immediately post procedure. It goes away in about fifteen to thirty minutes. You don't do anything to it. Um, other post procedural stuff to know is you don't work out till tomorrow, Got and you. you just don't put your hands or anything on your head or any pressure on it for the next day. But other than that, there's really no post procedure post care. Um, it's a very simple, easy procedure. We call it a lunchtime procedure because a lot of people come in during their lunchtime and get it done and go back to work. Yes. That is and perfect. So, um, it's a quick, easy. So don't worry, guys. If you're thinking like, oh my God, I seen him have swollen bumps on his head. Like it's going to go down. It takes about 30 minutes. Nothing to worry about. It's all going to go away. Um, I did have a question for you, though. I wanted to know. Um, is there a certain way that you need to sleep once you have something like this done? Like No, not for Botox, okay. but for fillers, yes, depending on where you're getting filled. For the next two to three days, you don't really want to lay on it because the filler can move around. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, and that's if you're getting fillers in your cheeks. Um, you definitely don't want to sleep on your side of your face. But for Botox, no. Okay, perfect. Alrighty, guys, so Chase and I, we are... Working on some things that we have coming up 
you guys gotta stay tuned for it because it's gonna be amazing um we can't tell y'all too much because it's going to be a surprise we got some release dates we got to drop stuff but it's definitely going to be dope you guys definitely have to stay tuned um i'm actually going to end the vlog here because i don't want it to kind of be about our adventure at starbucks because it was actually about him getting botox but then we ended up here because we got business to talk about but Guys, make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel if you're not. Also, make sure you're following Chase. I'm going to be sure to drop all of his information down in the description box as well. Um, like, subscribe, share, turn on your post notifications so you can be notified every single time I upload a video. And until next time, stay beat.